According to the rumors compiled by our colleagues over at Video Cards, AMD's Navi 31 GPU will be the company's first MCM based design and pack a ton of punch. MCM designs have been the holy grail of speculation for quite a few years now and ever since AMD's introduced MCM based CPUs, it's been the logical step in their product evolution. In a way, an MCM GPU makes even more sense than a CPU considering the largely parallel type of task the former handles. An MCM GPU is a GPU that is based on chiplets and combines many of these chiplets, usually with the command or I.O. chip, on a single package. Now, this technique drastically increases the yield of the GPUs as yield is inversely proportional to the size of the die, as the on wafer size of the die goes down instead of up. Using multiple small dies will always result in higher yields than one large monolithic die. Nvidia is also working on its own MCM based designs with the Hopper architecture and Intel has already demoed MCM designs with its Arctic sound platform with up to four tiles. The future is clearly MCM and the only question that remains now is which of the three will get there first. Now this is where the rumor part of the video comes in. According to some relatively unknown leakers retweeted by 3D Center, AMD's Navi 31 GPU will be an MCM GPU with 80 CU chiplets and the top unit will have two of them for 160 CUs or 10,240 stream processors, assuming the CU to SP ratio remains the same as it has for quite some time. Now if we assume conservative clock speeds of 1800 MHz, this is a GPU capable of at least 36.8 teraflops of FP32 compute. Now AMD's existing RDNA 2 architecture was blindsided by Nvidia's push to ray tracing and RDNA 3 should fix that weakness in AMD's architecture as well as increase the overall rasterization performance. AMD has already been working on its own variants of the Nvidia's DLSS technology and considering a large part of GPU's functionality in the future will be running DNNs or inference tech, this is likely true. Considering Current GPU's monolithic dies are already at the very edge of the maximum etch size for silicon wafers. This is definitely some merit to this MCM argument if the companies want to keep aiming for core count doubling every so often years. In fact, we heard the AMD's MCM ambitions for a very long time, starting with the EHP GPU processors a few years back. Considering their expertise in the package with Zen, a shift to MCM GPUs, while not exactly easy, wouldn't be too difficult either compared to the transition to Zen, for example. Underfox on Twitter has earned an almost legendary status for sniffing out obscure AMD patents and some of his own discoveries corroborate the speculation of the AMD 31 being an MCM GPU. The patent about a command scheduler for multi-dispatch scheduler would be the cornerstone of any MCM GPU design and a key component. The synchronization mechanism for GPUs is also another part of the puzzle and here's the thing though. We already started hearing about the rumors of Navi 41 and Navi 31 is the next in the line. Well, if this is going to be an MCM design and we start to seeing some leaks before long to confirm the same. AMD has recently filed a patent with the MCM GPU, which would be more or less confirmed that MCM GPUs are here in the pipeline. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.